Good morning. Colette Cameron here. I am celebrating today. Yay! Book 59 released. It is The Midnight Marquee, which is the third book in my Chronicles of the West Book Bride series. I don't have my prints yet. They're late. But this is the cover. It's Adolphus and Aurelie's story. I'm not sure if Aurelie's after the French pronunciation because she's French. That's how I said it in my head when I was writing her. So that's how I'm saying it with you guys. I'm going to read you a short little excerpt here. By the way, the book is wide. Um, will be for uh, at least two weeks, maybe a little bit longer. I'll probably pop it into Kindle Unlimited at some point in time for three months, but I'm not sure exactly when that's going to happen. Here's a short excerpt. This is from the first chapter, but it's not the very beginning of the chapter. Get down here, you pesky creature. A woman's husky whisper caused Adolphus to lift his head and turn toward her frantic French accent and murmurs coming from the yard beyond the brick barrier. Such you rotten cat, she muttered, spoiled, cosseted, pampered. Mon du, you give me no end of trouble. Atop the brick wall dividing his cottage from the one next door, as nonchalant as a lion basking in the African sun, lay a long-haired white cat flicking its bushy tail. The feline gazed at Adolphus with an imperious, who are you, stare befitting a queen. He had not met any of his neighbors by deliberate choice, but neither had anyone occupied this particular house on it. And on any other occasions, Adolphus had been in Lymington. When had they opened the cottage? Of more import and concern, were the occupants here to stay, and would they disturb his peaceful retreat? A moment more mumbling echoed from the garden's wall. If Adolphus had to guess, the woman dragged a chair to the edge to retrieve her cat. Adolphus caught a whiff of honeysuckle carried on the balmy night air. It must be from next door, for his little strip of land didn't contain the plant. Clearly of no mind to obey its mistress, the creature stood and then arched its spine. None, you shall not jump. I have no wish to climb over the wall, the woman whispered with such vehemence Adolphus couldn't help but grin. I do not know the neighbor, but I am sure whoever they are, they would not appreciate a midnight visitor. Besides, I might break a leg, not that you would care. The cat deigned to give her a haughty glance before with a swish of its considerable tail, with the front paw and licked it. Had the good Lord ever created a creature more arrogant, entitled, and disdainful than cats? Adolphus grinned. Why, yes, he had. English aristocrats, and he was related to several. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. Um, the buy links are in um, either the comments or the descriptions for all the different vendors, which would be Kobo, Apple, uh, Google, which is Google Play, um, who am I forgetting? Barnes & Noble, and um, iBooks. That's the five major vendors that it's on. I'm going to go now. You guys have a fantastic day. And once you've read the book and reviewed it, let me know in the comments here what you think of it, okay? Bye-bye now.